Hey everybody, welcome to another Fish Tech video. Uh, we're talking about the new Rhinosterkop sediment. Satellite has been out for a while, but I've got my hands on a really great uh, sediment chart. It's all calibrated. I've added some information, highlighted some uh, danger areas. Uh, let's get into it. Let's have a look. You guys all know what to do. You always start with Navionics. Um, <clears throat> It's here north of uh, Johannesburg, north of Pretoria, north uh, east of Pretoria, just past the rest of Winter Dam. Once you get to this stage here, um, because there isn't an outline for the dam even, this is where you can put your charts in and you can switch over. I suggest starting with the, um, let's, go, let's start with the satellite. Okay, there it is there. We've got some names. This is a very nice uh, low level. Uh, as you can see, a hell of a lot of uh, the dam is very, very shallow and very, very dangerous. Um, there's other, uh, there's some names. There's obviously Renostra Kop, uh, Dam Wall, the Irlands River is the main feed here. Um, these names that I've given these various bays, um, this can always be changed at some point. But what I've used is I've used the local settlements or villages or whatever you want to call them nearest to these points. And uh, I've called them by those names. So at least the guys have got something to go by. Someone says, where were you? I was, mm, yeah, over there. At least now you'll have something to, to, to go by. Okay. <clears throat> Um, so yeah, that's your low level. If we zoom in, just to, just so that you can get an idea of the resolution, um, you know, it's the normal story with South Africa. Our satellites are not fantastic, but they're not too bad. So it's, it's giving us some reasonable data there. I think it was on zoom level 19, if I remember correctly, 18 or 19. From uh, zoom level 21, we start getting some really, really high definition imagery, but very rare in South Africa. Or uh, a lot of it is uh, zoom level 20, but it seems to load in zoom level 21. But it's, it's still only zoom level 20. Um, anyway, let's change over to what you're really buying the chart for. Um, it is the new Renoster Corp. Now, this, this sediment is great. It's a, it's a good quality, it was done properly, and it's got some great information. What I've also done is I've put, obviously put the names on top of it, but these dangerous little areas, so when the dam gets a little bit low, goes through winter, doesn't get much rain, gets a little bit sketchy, I've highlighted them in red. So even if you had to go back to the satellite, <clears throat> you're driving on, on the satellite and you see danger, be careful. Maybe <laughs> switch over to the Renostico. Just stay out of that area if the dam is a little bit low. There's another little one down here somewhere. This one caught me by surprise. That'll bite you if the dam's down just, just a couple of feet. That'll bite you. If you go to the satellite, if you like just satellite charts and you think that's all you need in in life that's cool but um yeah one two gearboxes later and you might think to add a little bit more information than just a satellite unfortunately satellite does not have depth you've got no perspective of 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 depth but if you're sitting at home look if you're on the water the the sediment as is is going to work like a charm but here comes the problem where is the shoreline? That's one of the biggest problems with a, with a government sediment chart. You don't know where the shoreline is. They haven't marked it for you. You can eventually work it out. But what I've done for you here, you might enjoy this. <clears throat> yeah, let's just take this area here. You're going to go back. Go to your chart options. Go to your shaded relief. 
turn your shaded relief on. You'll notice nothing happens. But something has happened in the background. So go to your photo transparency. That's your primary photo transparency. That's your sediment chart. And bring that up slightly. You'll notice something has just changed there. Look carefully. Bring it up to 20%. Bring it up to 30%. Can you see that? I think 30 works quite nice. What happens if you go to 40%? Nah, I like 30. Take it to a transparency of 30%. You can still read the chart beautifully. You can see exactly where the 100% watermark is. What I've put in the background here is a 100% um, uh, satellite. A full pool satellite image. So if you go around the dam, you can see where the 100% mark is behind the sediment, which I think is quite cool. I think the one that everybody's always after, yeah. I think this will be, be a very popular area. You'll see it gets a little bit laggy when you're using transparency. I think it uh, labors the, the processor. Uh, this unit that I'm recording at the moment is a carbon. I've always loved the carbon. Uh, still to this day, I, uh, I think it was one of the best things Lawrence ever, ever did. Um, but um, yeah. You, you maybe with the newer units, I must actually try it with the Pro and the Live. Um, I know they've uh, enhanced the, the processor quite a bit. So you'll, you probably won't even see that, that lag with the Pro unit, which is quite nice. It's a very, very powerful uh, uh, unit, high definition, especially that 9-inch unit. The, the uh, uh, 9 Pro and the 10 Pro has got some really, really high definition. Um, I, I like the format of, of the 10 that you've got a little bit high, um, you know, you've got your landscape um, um, view like on all the units we're currently using, the carbon, the live, etc. But the, the, the 10 inch uh, Pro has given you a little bit more screen this way, which is really, really nice. So guys, yeah, uh, just remember that you're going to play around with your um, photo overlay transparency in order to to get this but you're going to have to turn on your shaded relief first i've used that shaded relief um, layer for for this so yeah uh, guys you know what what to do um, get hold of colleen order your your chart we're going to release this one at um it is now august 2024 for those who are watching this video in the future and we're going to release this one at 950 rand uh, so, and I think it's going to make a big difference to your fishing. Uh, on Renostra Crop, I think this will be, this will definitely help you and possibly save you uh, some, some damage and certainly a lot of time. And from a fishing perspective, there's a lot of uh, man-made structure you can see in the water, those roads. Remember on roads, you're going to get those transition areas. So roads are really, really uh, 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 beneficial to your fishing game. So yeah, um, guys, get hold of your new Renostra Corp sediment chart and um, tight lines. Thanks for watching.